dude, your your guys's hair uh, was it was it before <laughs> Masters or was it before State? Uh, uh, before think, State, uh, dude, whose idea was that? Um, if I remember right, it was Jake's idea first, and then it just kind of then Jake Jake was Jake's idea, just crazy because he's the guy on the team who adores his hair, and then it kind of trickled throughout Braden Bo. And then it was like, oh, yeah, no, we're going to do it blue. And it looked good for about one day. And then after after the first practice, it was, oh, it was bad. We had, like, blue stains coming down our faces, and it was just, it was bad. You guys did it, like, uh, I don't like the week before or something like that, maybe? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, like, the week, it was the week before, the weekend before state. We had a little team, a uh, little team party and just kind of, all the moms came. We all dyed our hair. You dyed it. You dyed it blonde and then blue. Yeah. Okay, because that's the move, dude. It it looked bad, bro. Like oh, it, it was bad. Good. Oh, I know. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I'm never dyeing my hair again. Because the <laughs> junior year, I tried. Because the junior year, I was like, oh, because yeah, everyone was like, oh yeah, no, we're gonna dye our hair. We're all gonna buzz our hair. No one did nothing. So I decided to go, and bleached my hair myself and it turned into like this pea yellow nastiness it was horrible it's I've hard had, yeah no, i've had two years of bad hair first you know the final competition and i'm not doing it again i mean i i feel like uh with the, with this team and 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 how um again from an outside perspective and you know i obviously i i talk to your coaches and stuff it seems like you know you guys are pretty close together um, and a lot of a lot of the guys on the team have been around each other, have been wrestling with each other since they were kids. Um, so it's kind of cool, you know, kind of to see, you know, out of Bakersfield, um, this this team. But I also feel like to some extent there's some pressure, right? Like you guys are, you know, you're not OK with with finishing, you know, six. You're trying to beat Clovis. You're trying to beat, uh, you know, Clovis or they're trying to, you know, dominate and really establish yourself, um, you know, as one of the, the better teams in the state. Uh, do you feel like that was some kind of pressure that was was on you guys at all, or was that something that you guys weren't even thinking about? Um, I mean, I guess there was a pressure, but it was a pressure that we put on ourselves. Um, it wasn't. I mean, obviously, Coach Adam and Albert and Montero, you know, they they want to win. It's not in their blood to lose at all. And but I feel like uh, because we've all you know grown up with one another. And we've been wrestling with one another for so long. It's like we know that we're good enough to beat these guys, and we know that as long as we keep keep to our training, that we can beat them. And so it's just it was because every year uh, Coach I would always ask us, "What's our goal as a team?" And every year it was always to win a state title, and we would come up with that ourselves and tell them that. And so it was, there was a pressure, but it was definitely placed on us by us 